Hey, Mike here with Reprint, and real quick, I wanted to go into the several different ways that uh, you can create your uh, contour cut uh, for your rolling printer. Uh, so I have a few examples right here, and the first thing I like to do is, one, I go here to Windows, then I go to Dockers. These are things that are docked on the right-hand side, so I'm going to go to Docker, Dockers, and I'm going to go to Properties. I mean, it's vital to have our Properties tab open, so uh, now I have the Properties. Uh, another quick tip, uh, when you go here to Color Palettes, so uh, you can click right here on Palettes, and we can go right over here to Spot, Roland, and Roland Versaworks. Now we have that palette uh, that will remain docked on the right side. Uh, that's for your contour cut. Uh, so there's many ways that we can tackle a contour cut. And one is just by selecting your text and going here to properties and putting a hairline outline on there. Then we want to change the color. So uh, for, for the color, uh, there's many ways. You can click on this bar right here, go down to Roland, go down to Roland Versaworks, and then click right here. Uh, that's one way. Another way is to use your eyedropper and click right there. Uh, that would achieve the same results. Uh, and as you can see, we have a contour cut. That's that pink line. And your rolling printer will be able to identify that as your cut line. Uh, now, if you didn't want it directly on the text, there's another way we can achieve this. Uh, so I'm just going to step backwards by pressing Control Z and go ahead and remove that. Uh, the next way is, again, I'm going to go here to Window dockers and i'm going to click on effects and then go to contour which opens up my contour button i want to make sure that my contour is to the outside very important and when it comes to uh your outline fill uh there's oftentimes i'll change this to random colors just so i can see a little bit better so i'm going to go ahead and make the uh text uh or the the fill red and i'm just going to offset it a little bit and oh we're still on the inside contour so I'm gonna make sure that I'm selected on the outside contour and as you can see we have here our uh, contour so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the uh, uh, this tab right here and I'm just gonna jump here and I'm gonna go ahead and pick that uh, then I can go ahead and change my fill back to white and as you can see we have it around the letters. Now, if you didn't want all this mumbo jumbo uh, that's on the inside, you can grab it and you can go here to object, then break your contour group apart. Now I can easily uh, maneuver and edit that. Now I'm gonna click right here to my shape tool and then you can zoom in and just kinda lasso those things, delete, lasso, delete. I'll just continue this process until I have all of that out of there. All right, another, I uh, hope there's still more over here, so I'm going to go ahead and lasso all this. Actually, I select that node, so I don't want to do that. So there we go. Delete. Now all of that is deleted out of there. I don't see anything else I don't like. Uh, so now, uh, well, I'm not, I'm not in love with this right here, but that's a whole other video. I'm going to go ahead and remove this right here. Delete. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. Another quick tip is I just hit the P button and that'll center it to page and then I can go ahead and uh, hit that as well right here. Now it's uh, all centered. And as you can see, we have uh, well, we will have a white border. Uh, actually, I can get rid of that. There we go. So that is done. That's how you work on that type of contour. Uh, the next one, we're going to jump into a little image. And what I like to do is trace bitmap, and I'll click on line art, and it'll automatically uh, trace that image. All right, and as you can see, now I'm going to go here to colors. I'm going to go ahead and just make this a two color. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and see what happens when I do one color. All right, now I removed everything, so I don't want to do that. I'll stick with two colors. And as you can see, it's actually pretty terrible because we're missing part of the image. So I'll go ahead and bump it up to three colors. Sometimes this takes playing with the amount of colors. I'll go ahead and add a few more. There we go. I'll just go ahead and hold shift and I'll click on all of these and I'll just merge all them colors together. Merge. All right, so there we have, uh, uh, what I did there was I held down shift and merged them colors together. Now I can sit, click okay. And as you can see, we have the outline. So I'm gonna to go to object, shaping, boundary, create a boundary right there. 
As you can see, again, I'm going to hit the P button, and then I'll go ahead and hit the P button right here. Uh, and as you can see, we're a little bit off on our alignment, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this and change the uh, go to properties. Then I'm going to go to hairline. Make sure that's correct. And I'm going to hit P again and then just kind of work with my arrows to get it in the right position. Uh, we're still a little off, but there we go. Uh, again, uh, we could do our contour uh, to have an offset. We can go ahead and uh, let me move him out of the way. And then we can go here to contour again if you'd like to uh, change your contour. And this is what adjusts uh, your offset right here, how big of a contour you'd like. You can tone it down. Right here, this will make things a little bit smoother uh, whenever I hit the corner roundness button. Uh, you can see we've got a lot smoother. Uh, we don't have as many nodes to tackle. So again, if we want to ungroup this, you can't just go here. If you, uh, let's see, uh, break apart, you can see it's grayed out. You actually have to lasso that in there. You lasso that guy, then you go to object, and then now you can see it's lit up, break contour apart, and then you can move them around. Then I can hit P right there, and there we go. Then we have uh, another contour. We're going to go ahead and do that with good old Bart Simpson right here. We're going to take him, trace bitmap, outline trace, line art. And as you can see, all the colors, I'm going to go ahead and try to tone them down to two. See if that works. That looks great. I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to hold shift and click the yellow. Then I'm going to merge them two colors together. Click OK. And as you can see, I have the uh, outline. So again, object, shaping, Boundary that'll put the uh, black outline on there and all I have to do is uh, go back here to properties I go to hairline and There we go I'm not sure oh, there it is I was looking at the wrong image so then I can delete these out of here control X control X control X I can hit P but as you can see this is actually a uh, JPEG image so you can see the boundary box so this likely isn't going to work with the control p with the piece and now uh, again I'm going to have to manually move the arrows over until I get them where I want them and there you have it it's just that simple uh, now whenever you export these things I like to go to file export change it to EPS there we go uh, name it BART export and make sure you don't click on any of this. A lot of times people will convert spot colors, which will convert that outline. And VersaWorks will not uh, recognize it. So make sure none of them boxes are uh, checked. And then I hit OK, and it's that simple. I'm in the process of making a lot more uh, CorelDRAW videos, so stay tuned if uh, you want to learn more about CorelDRAW. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.